Conversations. Conversations with with SD, SD Booker. Booker. But but I'm telling you, I mean, it's just like. But doesn't a woman that type of woman doesn't she only act like that with a certain type of man? I've seen some that act like that, no matter who they're with. Honestly, I've I've seen so many different things, but I've seen really good solid men and the woman flat out refuses to be contained no you're not going to contain me but again i think it goes back to to trauma where she couldn't trust anybody to contain her mm. because there's a whole difference between contain and control right let's just go back to the, the the thing of a candle okay now you can have this container which is containing okay and you can move the candle around now now, if you if you get into the control aspect, you're going to cover the whole candle up. What happens? It goes out, right? There's no oxygen. Correct. So, so if a woman's been traumatized as a girl and she's been controlled, manipulated, uh, harassed, whatever it is, she looks at all things that even feel slightly like that as the control that's going to put her out. It's going to it's going to literally put out her life force. So you can see the trauma that causes that and the healing that needs to happen to, you know, get it right. There's, there's a lot of different things. There's a lot of, of practice, uh, you know, tapping. I love tapping the emotional freedom technique, EFT tapping. That helps a lot. Literally, there's a point on your upper or your arm right above your, you literally can feel in there and, and it's, it's tender and you start tapping as you're feeling those emotions you literally can start reversing it even with things like that there's a lot of things now available for us to help heal wow so would you suggest uh that a man stays away from this type of woman not connect with her would you would you suggest that until she does the healing she needs to do again i don't think she can do it without a man of some type just just from experience knowing what it's like when you're sick mm -hmm. when your energy is off when you know you're traumatized you still have to have you still have to have it somewhere and it doesn't have to be close it can be your father it can be your you know whoever you trust right. but i still think they have to have a male friend of some kind that they can trust that they can vent and again that's part of the feminine energy is venting True. But when they vent, they need to feel that there's somebody solid that it's not going to push them away. A lot of men, and I've seen this in my past, when you're going through a lot of grief and trauma and the, the pain and stuff is swirling through you and you vent, they're going to run away. Mm. They can't handle it. Right. So that's like, I, I say it's like we have this energy and we're, we're throwing it. We have to find a solid, we have to find something solid to toss it against that's going to sort it out and, and send it back to us healed. I believe that a woman can throw you an energy. You literally can take it, sort it out and, and give it back to her healed. I believe that because I've seen that. So okay. now, now let's say you tried to do that with a weak man. You, but see, you that's what I was saying. Like that's, yeah. But, but see, that was, <laughs> okay. that's, what, that's what I was saying. It takes a certain type of man. That's right. what I was saying. That was yeah. my point. It takes a certain type of man that can only do that. Um, You're right about that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, because I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm 45, and I see, um, I see some things that men go through. I've heard things also that men go through with women. I'm talking about some crazy stuff. Um, I've never experienced. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, and I don't know. If these women are not drawn to me, we're not drawn to each other, or they just don't feel comfortable, compelled, being disrespectful, you know, to me. But I've never experienced a quarter of the stuff a lot of men have experienced that I've witnessed. Um, yeah, so I just think it takes a certain type of man to be able to deal with a traumatized woman. Yeah. You know, you're right. You're right. And and that's an interesting point. I, I love um, that that point, because when you actually look at it, 
and I'm, I'm thinking about all pa back in my life when, when you would, when you would be dealing with a weak man, it literally felt like you, when you would vent or you were trying to get clarity on something. And again, a lot of times when a woman vents, she's not wanting you to do something. She mm -hmm. simply needs you to bounce that energy back to her from a, a stable place. Um, so, but when you do it to a weak man, it literally feels like you're throwing something at a shower curtain. It's like, <laughs> yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah. But like, like my dad, for example, my dad was a solid man, solid wall. And, you know, growing up as a teenager, when your emotions and energies and everything's all like this, you know, there were times where I would just be distraught and, and, and he would just be there and he'd just be there and he'd just say, you know, no, I can't let you do that. It's destructive. And I do it. Be, I'm not letting you because I love you. And that, that was, that was like, like a, such a stable healing wall. Right. Wow. Yeah. That, that sound stable force is powerful. 